If you want to graduate from a smaller segment motorcycle to your first big bike or even if you're a newbie and you want your first big bike just for smooth riding pleasure and not to have all the attention on the road, I have just the kind of bike for you, the Triumph Trident 660. I am going to go straight to the heart of this motorcycle because that is the most special feature on Triumph Trident 660. Although the engine is derived from the famous Daytona, but apart from platform, design and engineering, it has little in common with the 675. The internals have been completely reworked, cams, pins, pistons, intake, everything is new. The 660cc inline 3-cylinder liquid cool engine produces 81 horsepower at 10,250 rpm and 64Nm of torque at 6,250 rpm. The power of 3-cylinder is designed to gel well with the easy nature of this bike. It's super fun to ride, agile, got plenty of punch to it right from the beginning of the rev bank and power delivery is absolutely linear all the way to 10,000 rpm. The gearing is short, gives you quicker acceleration and healthy split of torque. Trident is extremely forgiving to wrong gear selections. And even if you're at 40 to 50 kilometers in fifth gear, there is no knocking from the engine. And even though it's 660, Trident never feels under power. You can even pull and overtake in fifth gear. Triumph Trident is cut from the same fabric as the Street Triple. It has the same attitude towards fun. For a superbike, it's a small bike with big engine in a compact size motorcycle, which is easy to ride and control. It's extremely light and nimble which will give you immense confidence to first time big bike owners and seemingly short heights is not a problem on this bike. The handling character of the motorcycle is great, feels well controlled around the corners and Michelin Road 5 tyres do the job well of sticking to the ground, giving you confidence to attack corners at high speeds. The Showa suspension is set up well even though you only get pre-road adjustability on the rear and the traction control feels tailored to new riders but it is far too intrusive for the seasoned riders. It's got 41mm upside down fork in the front and Showa monoshock at the rear. The ground clearance is 145. It's decent for broken roads, but not the best in the segment. Can't really push this bike for off-roading. It gets bumpy. For safety, it gets 310mm floating disc with ABS in the front and 255mm disc with ABS at the rear. The shockers and brakes could have been better, but this bike is not made for all-out performance. So I'm not complaining. The bike is smart looking, proportionate and approachable with a narrow side profile. It's got uh, a horizontally split LED DRL lamps which works well in the city ride but average on the highways. It's got a simple digital TFT display with uh, quite a few features in it. The quality of the side mirror seems average but they are wider instead of being round. The switch gear quality seems basic and handlebars are wider than the street triple to give leverage in the city environment. But early steering lock limits its ability to navigate and turn in tight spaces. The overall fit and finish is hard to find faults with and generally feels premium than the motorcycles you are likely to be upgrading from. Kawasaki Z650, Honda CB500X and other middleweight motorcycles beware you have Trident to worry about. Trident rides like a superbike, does not feel like a compromise at all. It's got a lot of character to it with premium pedigree. It looks great and gives you what you want at just 6.95 lakh rupees ex showroom with low cost service maintenance. Yes, it's 16,000 kilometers or one year, whichever is earlier. Seems like it's not that difficult to own a big bike anymore. Thank you for watching Motorhead. I am Sonia Jen. Please leave your comments in the section below and I'll be happy to address them. Like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for a lot of awesome auto content.